Minor compliance dry on pair of pantyhose, just remembered this one. It's not amazing but it was amusing with how often it came up. Disclaimer, English is my primary language and I am on a desktop with full keyboard. So any typos or run on sentences are entirely my own stupid fault. My family owns a costume shop that I wouldn't still do volunteer at during the busy seasons like Halloween. Two of things we sell are costume tights and wigs. People would constantly ask to try on both and would get upset when we told them no. I shouldn't have to tell you, wise readers, why you don't want to put a used wig on your head. It's lice. That's how you get lice. Plus, these wigs are costume quality. They're basically made to look good once, and these people always insist on putting one on by leaning over and flipping their heads back like it was a shampoo commercial. A move that totally ruins the wig to the point no one would want it afterwards, not even them. The tights? These are also costume quality tights, not workout yoga pants or leg warming tights you wash and reuse, they're glorified colored pantyhose. If I didn't need to tell you about the lice on your head from a wig, I shouldn't have to tell you about why you don't want to try on someone rando's underwear either, but still they would ask. Still they would get angry. We would tell them it was about the lice, and they always pulled the will I don't have lice response, as if that meant they were immune to the little buggers for all eternity. Well, one day we had just changed the display on a mannequin that had tights and a wig, and I get an idea. I head back into the kitchen area and grab a spray can of lice all and a pair of salad tongs that were sitting in a drawer. All of these things went under the counter, and the waiting game began. Not just a few hours later, I got my first bite. Can I try on these pantyhose? Not those, no, but we have a try on pair you can use instead. As I reach under the counter and pick up the tights from the mannequin with the salad tongs as if they were a biological hazard, held them out at arm's length, and then sprayed them up and down with lice all like a pair of bowling shoes. She understood real fast why what she was asking was a bad idea. Those tongs, tights, and wigs stayed under the counter for years after that as the whole family got in on it. Nice people who took no as an answer were fine. The ones that got huffy and demanded we let them do it anyway? They got likely the cleanest, most disinfected pantyhose in history handed to them on tongs. Oddly enough, no one ever accepted the offer. 